The world tomorrow is going to be volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. Applied learning is one of the key strategies that we have identified to future-proof you. It's a practice-oriented approach. It means having this, a strong theoretical foundation, so you must know the theory, but you have to be able to apply it. Because the future is not about what you know, it's about what you can do with what you know. Applied learning also has the concept of the workplace as a learning environment. Think of it as a reality classroom. And it also focuses on developing the capabilities that are needed for real life work. And some of the benefits of applied learning would be as follows. Firstly, increasing employment opportunities even without a university degree. Secondly, providing employers with a skilled and competitive workforce. Thirdly, to ensure that education is relevant and up-to-date for today's job market. And what it does is, we hope, allows us to develop those three categories that I talked about, character, competencies, and substantive knowledge. Why? Because if you have a workplace environment for learning, all of that comes into play. You've got to apply the theory that you have learned, you've got to put it to good use, you're learning at the same time, but because you're also interacting with people, the competencies of communication, teamwork, and your character and your values, all those come to the fore. And that's where we hope to create an environment where you really can learn through applied learning. It also serves as an early warning system to identify what industry changes and future needs are. And importantly, if you work in a applied learning environment, hopefully it will also allow you to see where your own strengths are and for you to know whether this job is really for you or whether it's something that you think you don't want to do. Just now I mentioned that one of the benefits of applied learning would be to increase employment opportunities even without a university degree. But that said, I also recognize that there is a very deep sense amongst parents and students for their children to have further or higher education. There's a strong desire, I know from the students I've talked with, for those in NITEC is to have higher NITEC, for those in higher NITEC to have a diploma, for those who have a diploma to eventually have a university degree. That's fine, but as we've seen from the Finnish and the Korean experience, if everyone gets a degree, but there are not enough jobs which are commensurate with the degree, then that's not what we want either. Because then the young entrants would have to end up doing jobs for which they're overqualified and which is not what they were expected, what they expected to have to begin with.